Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between carbon arc welding and tungsten inert gas welding. Carbon arc welding is a permanent joining process where coalescence is formed by melting the fraying surfaces of the parent components through an electric arc established between a non-consumable carbon electrode and the components. A sophisticated arc welding process based on non-consumable electrode is tungsten inert gas, or TIG, welding where the coalescence is produced by melting the fraying surfaces of the parent components through an electric arc established between a non-consumable tungsten electrode and the components. Formally, TIG welding is referred to as gas tungsten arc welding. So, let's look into the basic differences between carbon arc welding and tungsten inert gas welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1. Carbon arc welding electrode is made of either carbon or graphite, with copper coating, whereas, TIG welding electrode is made of tungsten, with few alloying elements like thorium, zirconium, lanthanum, cerium, etc. Number 2. In carbon arc welding, electrode is relatively cheaper, whereas, in TIG welding, electrode is expensive. Number 3. In carbon arc welding, although electrode is non-consumable, Electrode wear or disintegration rate is considerably high. So electrodes have shorter life, whereas, wear rate of the non-consumable tungsten electrode is comparatively low. So electrodes off for higher life. Number 4. During welding, carbon particles can easily deposit on the weld bead after disintegrating from the electrode in carbon arc welding. Such additional carbon particles can easily alter the weld bead properties, whereas, Carbon particles do not deposit on the weld bead in TIG welding. However, tungsten particles can get entrapped into the welded joint. Number 5. Carbon arc welding electrode has considerably larger diameter. Typically electrode diameter varies in the range of 3 to 25 mm, whereas, TIG welding electrode has relatively smaller diameter, typically in the range of 1 to 6 mm. Number 6. In carbon arc welding, although the electrode comes in cylindrical shape, the tip of the electrode is always made pointed, or conical, to get a stable arc. Apart from conical, no other shape is used, whereas, although pointed tip, or conical, electrode is commonly used, various other shapes, such as truncated conical, ball tip, flat end, etc., are also used with added benefits. Number 7. Carbon arc welding is usually carried out in open atmosphere without the presence of shielding gas, whereas, TIG welding is carried out in presence of an inert shielding gas, such as argon, helium, and nitrogen. Number 8. Longer arc length, from 10 to 30 mm, is commonly preferred for carbon arc welding, whereas, relatively shorter arc length, from 2 to 10 mm, is used in TIG welding. Number 9. In carbon arc welding, joints are susceptible to blowholes and porosity defects, whereas, in TIG welding, reliable and defect-free joints can be easily obtained if welding is carried out properly. However, chance of tungsten inclusion defect is high. And, difference number 10, few varieties of carbon arc welding include twin carbon arc welding, shielded carbon arc welding, and carbon arc cutting, whereas, some of the varieties of tungsten inert gas welding include activated TIG, flux bound TIG, keyhole TIG, laser assisted TIG, TIG cutting, etc.